There are two different types of combustion, complete and incomplete. This equation is an example of complete combustion. Incomplete combustion is hard to achieve, but here is an example of this. So it is formed as there is not enough oxygen for complete combustion to occur. As you can see, this candle is a good example of complete combustion system. If we make the flame flicker, we can see smoke appearing. This is soot. This candle is now showing incomplete combustion. To measure the enthalpy of combustion of a fuel, a bomb calorimeter can be used. This is covered in your introductory chemistry lectures. Bond disassociation enthalpy, delta dis H, for a diatomic molecule, XX, refers to the process X2 gas goes to 2X gas at a temperature of 298K. Delta dis H equals D, or XX, which is the bond enthalpy for a specific process of a particular bond in a molecule. D depends on the bond and D bar, which is the mean, and is absorbed from the following. Remember, bond enthalpies are mean values and all species are gaseous. Here we have an example of bond dissociations relating to the combustion of methane. First, a balanced equation is needed and then the numbers from the table added so that the following equation can be used. The sum of the reactants plus the sum of the products, which equals the total enthalpy change of combustion with the products being exothermic. Therefore, the total enthalpy change of combustion is minus 818 kilojoules per mole. In class, you will have been given a table to work out enthalpy changes of combustion. A good way of doing this is to use Excel. Thermochemical equations must have state symbols and the enthalpy change of reaction at the end of the equation, as well as being fully balanced. As you can see, these two examples are both thermochemical equations. It is important that definition of delta H's are learnt, as in this case, delta RH is referring to per mole of reaction as given by the balanced equation, whereas delta CH, for example, is referring to per mole of fuel.